be showing you how you can set up motion detection on your camera, so your CCTV, and then how to also set this up on your recorder device. We definitely do advise that you do set up motion detection. That's because you're kind of guaranteed to get a lot more data recorded, but with using less storage, because you're only recording sort of sections and um, sort of footage that you actually need or require. So everything needs to be set up at this point and um, um, what we're going to do is first we're going to set up motion detection onto your camera. So you have the menu page and we want to go on to camera first. So once we select camera, on the left hand side, the fourth down, you've got your motion option. There are quite a few sort of options that you have here and I'm going to run you through each one. So you've got channel first, which is all the different cameras that you have set up. I'm going to leave it at one because I just want to focus on one camera, but you can adjust it to all the different CCTVs you've got. Now for sensitivity, you have about three different options. You've got your low, your medium and your high. For high, what it detects is that even if things or objects are far away from your camera, it will detect any motion. So we wouldn't actually advise this because, say for example, you set up motion detection in the evening and it just happens to be really, really windy. So if you've got a tree or a leaf that sort of just flies off and passes your house or the front of your office or wherever the camera is set up, and the um, camera will actually detect this. I would say pick between middle and low. So low is if the object is very close to your camera. So middle is probably the best option, but depending on what you actually need the footage for, you can adjust them to both and see which one works better for you. Now you've also got enable detection, which you need to tick because obviously we want any detection in it, um, to be you know, detected. Then we have your buzzer alarm. So I'm actually going to demonstrate what happens here. So what this does is that every single time motion is detected, it actually does set up an alarm. So say if I tick this and I click on apply, what we've got now is that if I move, you can hear the alarm go. So I'm just going to turn this off. So I probably wouldn't advise this in the evenings, especially when um, it's really late at night because then every time the buzzer goes off, you'll be up, the neighbors will be up. You've also got an option to send an email. So this will let you know every single time motion is detected. Then you've got your record channel. Um, then you've got your record time, which um, you can set up. So this could be, so this actually is, as soon as a motion is detected, we set up 30 seconds. It means it's going to continue recording for 30 seconds. You can adjust it to 60, you can change it. Then you've got your weeks, which is great. So you can have it all week, or you can select a specific day that you feel like you do want motion detection on. You've also got an option to have two different time period points. So say, for example, on a Sunday, you know that you want motion detection from two to four, then your home, up to about eight, and then you want motion detection eight to nine, you can put that in and that will, um, that will start recording motion detection for you. You've also got a linkage button here. So if you click on linkage, and you click on apply, this is what your screen will look like. So, large. If you don't want that, that's absolutely fine. You can go back and take it off. The last option you have here is a set area right in the top right hand corner. So when all the squares are grayed out, it means that it's going to detect motion in the entire area. However, if say half of the area is blocked because there's a gate there, you can change that. So you can select that you only want this section in motion detection. Now, if you want to get out of this, you simply right click and it gets you out to the main page. So the next thing we can do is that we can set up the motion detection on your record device. So once you click on record, you've got this. So as a default, you've got 24 hour recording. 
So you've got another few good options here is you can obviously select days that you want things recorded or you want motion recorded. You can um, select um, different options here. So let's just say that on a Sunday we want motion detection. Okay, so I want motion detection from zero to six. That's all I want. But I want this to happen on three different cameras. So first, I selected apply it, then I copy it. But you have to make sure that you take Sunday. So I copy this and I select camera two and three, apply it again. So at the top, when I go to camera two, as you can see, and camera three, they're all showing the same thing. Another option you can do, oh, and if you want to get rid of this, there's simply a little rubber that you can use in the little right hand corner, which we get rid of what you've done. So there's also a gear tool that you can use. Now on the gear tool, you can adjust if you want things recorded or if you just want motion recorded. So again, we've selected Sunday. On a Sunday, I know that I'm at home, but I'm in the garden and I just want motion detection on. I can deselect this and select motion instead. And I can click all, I can click today, but I can save it. So the last option here is your playback option. So if you click on playback, you've actually got the um, option of looking at your footage. So if this is motion detection from today that I've already recorded, you've also got the option of adjusting it to different time frames and then you've got your days on the calendar here and you've got your different cameras that you can use to um, look at the footage that you captured.